welcome to Monday Morning. This is Tojo Fitness helping you get your head in the game. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Head in the Game on this fresh Monday morning. And the clocks have changed. Absolutely wonderful. The summer is arriving. It's a fantastic day, a lovely week. And what a better way to start than to tune into Head in the Game and get some motivation. And today, what are we talking about, honey? We're talking about the boomerang effect. What are we talking about? Boomerang. The effect. boomerang effect. You know, isn't it strange how we never tire of the hilarity of watching people fall over? Yeah. You know, you watch these TV programs, whether it was back in the day, Candid Camera, Caught on Camera, or now just YouTube moments. Or if you're driving along in your car and someone's walking along the pavement and they just have a little trip <laughs> that you can't... I know it's really bad, isn't it? Well, it, but it's funny. I think we've just said out loud what other people think. Yeah. <laughs> it, and, and when you look at the, like the Candy Camera kind of TV programs, it's all about that, isn't it? I mean, mm. nine, nine, nine out of ten of them are people falling over, trying to do something crazy and crashing out. And yet we go to great lengths to avoid falling down as we get older. And there are some good reasons for that as well. I mean, we don't bounce the way we used to. No. You know, when I was a kid, you fall down, you get up again, you bounce, it's yeah. okay. You tend, not, you tend to shatter easier as you get older. Um, and so we become risk averse and our body then gradually becomes rigid. And one of the things we do with uh, Tojo Fitness is working with people on posture. People who have had falls often then become very rigid in their movements because they're in their rigidity. They're trying to um, build in some safety into the way they walk. But actually their rigidity is causing a, them to be more likely to fall over later on. So uh, although we lo lose some of our bounce there's a psychological bounce which we want to be maintaining and getting better on as time goes on yeah so one of the things uh, that we love to use on our stories on instagram is a little um app or feature called boomerang oh, and yeah. um, what boomerang <coughs> does is that you will uh, film kind of like an action and it, it kind of like replays that action. It kind of like boomerangs between the two, the start and the finish, yeah. the start and the finish. So if you catch somebody falling down, boomerang immediately plays them falling up afterwards. And it looks like they're literally bouncing off the floor. Mm. So, so what if we could learn? I read a book a long time ago, and I don't remember much about the book, but I remember the title called Falling Upwards. What if we could learn to fall upwards what if we could turn our epic fails into a bounce? I, I came off my skateboard when I was about 41, and I'd just gone down Oh my, my gosh, let me just take a minute. He came off his skateboard at the age of 41. Yes. I was going down a very, very steep, very long slope, and I got to a pretty impressive speed, and um, the board went out from underneath me, and I ended up doing the splits into this bush, and I couldn't walk for a week afterwards. But I remember falling over, I just let back up again. I sort of tried to style it out because I didn't want to be that person who everybody came round and had sympathy for. Um, but it was really hard to do. What, what if we could turn our epic fails into a bounce? I mean, I'm thinking like, like a tennis ball. A tennis ball doesn't complain when it hits the court because it's made to bounce. Yeah. And, and kids bounce. K Oh my gosh, don't kids bounce back. Yeah. They have a little bit of a, ah, and then they're back up, they're back laughing again. Um, but it's only as we get older, um, we actually forget Yeah, to bounce. I, I love watching the old Aikido masters, you know, in the martial arts. And sometimes they're old, wizened men, and sometimes ladies, and uh, they're attacked, and they'll, they'll fall down and bounce back up and dive out the way. And what a wonderful thing that is to have that sort of facility mm. into old age. Now, although that's about the physical side of things, what we really want to talk about is this boomerang effect in our psychological state. I get knocked down, but I get up again. That's the one. That's the one. Name that tune. We've got four things we're going to leave you with in the next two minutes to take into your week. And the first is this. We all fall down all the time. It's meant to be funny. Mm -hmm. Don't take it so seriously. Mm, true. Um, the longer you stay down, the harder it is to get back up. Yeah. Yeah. And we always wait for that right. 
next week, Monday's the day I'm going to get back up. Yeah. Monday, oh no, Monday's gone again. Um, let's do the following Monday. And so the longer you leave it, like sometimes you just got to turn your brain off, not tell it what you're doing and just get back up. Sometimes this, the first point and the second point are linked is when we fall down and then we feel guilty about it and we uh, feel shame about it and we beat ourselves up about it, that makes it very hard for us to get back up on our feet. And sometimes, you know, you just have to say, yeah, oh gosh, I blew my diet yesterday. I had a whole chocolate bar. Have a laugh about it. It was funny. You won't, might not want to do it again, but laugh about it. Yeah. Jump back up on your feet mm -hmm. because the longer you stay down, if you stay down and go, oh, I've ruined my diet. Now I've got to eat McDonald's for the next two weeks. Oh, it's going to be a disaster. But just laugh. It's funny. Falling over is part of life. It's how we learn to walk. So we don't stay down, we want to get back up again. Yeah, absolutely. Your pain will fade quicker with renewed movement. Mm. Sorry, I was, I was having a slurp of coffee. Yeah, you then. were, that's nice, isn't it? That's right, I thought you were going to say something more than that. No, you'll, for you'll forget about it. When can, I, you can I have a slurp of my coffee? Okay, okay. okay, you keep talking. So when you get back up again, uh, it's very easy to forget that you've actually been back you, you've actually come off on, on the ground and that's good yeah that's moving on it's a little bit like with kids isn't it kid falls over yeah. cries the end of the world and you give them something to take their mind off it yeah. because the brain's very primitive it can't focus particularly guys brains can't focus on more than one thing at a time and so you give them a child sweet all of a sudden sweet is the center of their focus so you've fallen off the wagon so you've eaten that mcdonald's so you've devoured that chocolate bar so you say okay now i'm going to get back up again yeah. um, i'm i don't learn to stay on my feet by lying on the ground no. examining that floor that pavement is not going to teach me anything about walking no. i want to be back up on two feet knowing that the pain will fade quicker with renewed movement. When I get back on the wagon, yeah. I'm going to start feeling good about myself again. Yeah. In whatever area that is. And it may be somebody else has uh, uh, verbally attacked you, has bullied you, mm -hmm. and has knocked you down. You may need to get out of that situation and that circumstance. Yeah. But once you're out, let's get back up on our feet. Let's take that boomerang effect. Yeah, but it does take a risk to get back up. Yeah, it does. But without it, we're no different to the worms. Mm, true. Well, this has been Head in the Game from Tojo Fitness. We hope this has encouraged you. Uh, we hope this is going to boomerang you into your week. See what I did there? Uh, that was pretty impressive. Yeah. And uh, we shall see you next Monday's Head in the Game. Keep your head. See you next week.